going on guys? My name is Ron back again from Ron Reviews here with another episode of the Quintessential Quintuplets, episode 11, Legend of Fate Day 3, Legend of Fate Stay Night. I don't know why I got that kind of vibe, but I just read, well, at work, I read the last chapter, Nino, still best girl, have the, have the, the yes, this. I feel like I should probably move my microphone right here, so when I show it, you guys, I'm not blocking the actual mic, and that's a little bit too bright. I realize I have to fix my lighting. Nope. Okay, that's better. Yeah, hold on. Can you see it? Takes a second to... Uh, yeah, fuck it. Works. Anyways, I'm gonna drop it down. Okay, there we go. But, I feel like Nino is still gonna be best girl. For a while, at least in terms of the series, like, I realize, I realize that anime only, I can see them not like me, you know, in fact, I know we're not going to get her redemption arc, as I like to call it, in the anime, I know for sure, because it's going to end off with probably, I mean, the end of this little arc, which is the, the, uh, school trip, and, like, it, that's okay, but, apparently, this show is very popular in Japan, so there's a good chance, like, this show is actually more popular than Kaguya-sama, which it still blows my mind. Although, it's two different shows, but yeah, and, all, and in all honesty, like, Kaguya gets more into, like, the juicy details later on, backstory with, backstory with the Ishigami, um, and all that stuff, so I can understand, this one at least will start, this, this actually starts diving into more of the, what, the start of the seriousness during this arc, and then it starts getting more and more serious as it goes on, and then fucking this last few arcs, or this last few chapters, I would say, is, like, all shit hits the fan, and there's a giant war going on, <laughs> fucking Avengers ain't got shit on this fucking <laughs> waifu war, and it literally is a waifu war now, like, in fact, I think the title of the chapter is called the sisters of war and man nino is there's a reason why they call her no break nino because phew, jesus she's going she's going off but anyways um we're gonna see what happens but like i said this show was very popular in japan like i i did not know it was as it was bigger than kaguya and i think kaguya is almost slated like almost guaranteed to get a second season and if that is the case and if kaguya gets a second season i highly don't think I, I highly doubt that this show will not get a second season as well and i really do hope we get a second season because we will then have the anime viewers then the only viewers get to see the greatness as of who of why i believe nino is best girl in fact i actually do plan on like sitting down writing a script talking about why i think nino is best girl and then also breaking down the other girls because honestly this show is something very special to me i it's because it is a harem that subverts the stereotypical tropes in a way because of how they do the character development normally you're gonna get character development because of a couple backstories a little bit more of the backstories in terms of interactions between that girl, said girl and the main character this one is a little bit different they change their entire personalities they change their drives their motivations and that's what i like about it for example spoiler but i mean this is before i'm actually getting into the actual episode so kind of works out but we have Nino. Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to start with this. Okay, so Miku, she is honestly the easiest to add a type of depth to her because she was such a bland character in the very beginning. Like, I'm talking about the very beginning when they first introduced her. And her... her she is the easy because she was just a blank slate she was just there she was this very quiet girl it wasn't really side just really quiet very aloof very like uh, taken aback from not taken aback from everything but like more of like she was there but that's about it so honestly giving her any type of character development was going to be something and then added with and then everyone started loving her blushing faces and all that jazz and like i said even i like at first like i think i don't i don't agree i don't i i will not say that anyone who picked our first girl in this show was Miko. I don't think anyone can deny that. I think almost everyone was like, oh yeah, Miko's best girl. But again, honestly, that is the only girl we've gotten, we had development of. Then Ichika came around, which you can see here. Ichika had her development, and then a lot of people, a lot of people from the Church of Miku jumped ship and went over there. Um, and then, I, I don't know what Ichika's, uh, like, little tag is. I think it's the Ichika army, not entirely sure. But we have the Church of Miku, Nino Gang, Ichika Army, I'm guessing, and then I think the Yotsuba Bros, and really, Itsuki doesn't have one yet, because she doesn't have her arc, but like I said, 
eventually I want to sit down and like write out a script and talk about it more in depth because I feel like I said this show is I I, I thoroughly enjoyed the show I love the show I've been ke- I've been keeping up to date every time it updates I read it um the day of unless something happens but yeah anyways I'm gonna stop talking about this because I want to go watch this last episode we got the uh, Ichika and Futaro got locked up in the shed um which is which is a bit of a common trope but like I said it gets out of the tropes a little bit later on. But yeah, anyways, guys, without further ado, let us jump in to episode 11 of the Quintessential Quinto. Let's all go to Banal Hana Yomi Sun in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like a, yeah. I don't think you can really break out. You're a little bit... Kind of skin and bone, dude. I don't think it's going to work that way. I think if you were to ram your shoulder into the door, you would break. I don't know. They can, I, I, I could actually kind of... I could have kind of seen that more of like a funny thing. By the way, remember that time Futaro got the freaking guards called on them? Oh, you're getting that doki doki. Stay calm, my beating heart. Sen. You lucky son of a bitch. That there is a reason why I have this on my water water jug. You know, there is a rule. There is a rule in anime. It's an unsaid rule. Well, it's not really an unsaid rule because it's kind of rule known now. But it's unwavering. No one can deny it. And it's by all means true. There is no denying it. Thick thighs save lives. And just like Sukata from Bernie Girl Somebody, which is still in the watch, but I have seen clips. Just like what he said to. The money girl, I can't really give her name. I want those to sandwich me. Don't you? You can even try to judge me, but we all know we're right. Man, it's kind of a shame. One of our, one, another fellow reactor, Lar Games, just does not like the show. The only reason why he doesn't like the show is because they have boobs that are bigger than B cups. Legit. Nothing seek, nothing f- found. <laughs> Trying to create a fire. I actually don't really remember this. He's not doing it fast enough. Need to really jerk it around to get it going. <laughs> He's book smart, but that's about it. That's about it. See, I'd much rather be life smart than book smart any day of the week. That's why I think people who like, I don't know, main reason why I also didn't go to college, I didn't finish college. I also don't like school in general, so. Hey. Yotsuba is great, by the way. I'm really hoping she gets her own arc. Her and Itsu because I need to get I need to have some reason to at least back them up. I 
It's funny though, Yotsuba actually has spent has spent the most time with Futaro, if you think about it. Always doing like class rep things together. By the way, if you've, I've only had it a couple times, but Japanese croquettes are delicious. Japanese croquettes. I wish I could, uh, probably when I go to LA, I'm probably going to have try to have some. Now I got his attention. I, like, that's a hard thing to to think about. Like, if you were to, like, hmm, I mean, honestly, this is her passion, and I would absolutely say passion first. Because think about it, you can always go back and finish high school, easily. College, yeah, same thing with college. I mean, I don't know how it is in Japan, but you can, you can get a GED outside of a co um, high school. <laughs> Would it lose by a fifth? Do what you love. Yeah, he said it's because that is his only option. Let there be fire. You know, so pop in a room swooning over. It's weird. I wonder how she would act as she is now in the manga. <sighs> Sorry, Ichika. You're great and all, but I already have one girl in my heart. Oops. Sorry. I forgot she didn't rip she didn't know about that. I thought she
<laughs> and, so and just like that. that in the shed what is what is the shed cut holding that's what I'm trying to figure out I think it's Itsuki. I forgot. I think it is Itsuki. Yeah. It's a weird sight to be looking up, uh, looking into them too. For different reasons. I still I, I I don't care what anyone says. I don't think if it's a I don't think it's a real trope. Just because you s get a little wet just for a little bit of time does not mean you get a cold. I don't I've never seen that happen. Is that something that happens in the east because goddamn I've never seen that happen in the west. I know I live in Las Vegas where it's a fucking desert out here, but I have never had I have been drenched before in the rain and I was fit as a fiddle. Doesn't feel like three months since then, but yeah. I think like they're a little bit past a year in the manga. <laughs> so, you know, of course, freaking Yotsu Bud comes in. <laughs> And Nina is with her friends. And Miko is somewhere. <laughs> Miku. I forgot what happens in this one.
Okay. I think I remember what happens in this. I do love just Yotsuba's like upbeat attitude. It's unfortunate that she's such she's so self-sacrificing too. Especially we'll see that more and more in the manga. I think I remember this. I think I remember this. Not gonna say anything though. Don't worry. Don't worry. When you had to turn your. When you had to turn to your right or left to slow down by. Yeah. <laughs> Stuck between a, 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 a rock and a hard place. Oh my gosh, smiling Nino is the greatest, is such a joy. I will admit, anime, as an from anime only, I can see why Miku was best girl. Uh, I was the same way, but then I became enlightened, and then I found the real best girl. Manga only.
It's lamenting her. But being, yep. Yeah. Boobs. It's weird that this. Like, it's weird. Some of these shots are almost, like, very reminiscent, like, straight out of the manga. It's actually kind of cool. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. You know, I think I was wrong about what I was thinking. It's been a long, like I said, it's been a while since I've actually seen this. But yeah, by the way, I do apologize for accidentally hitting the pause bar. I know I'm probably jerked it off. Wording. Jerked it up. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, I'm going to go wrap this up. I don't. We're not going to get anything for the ending. I'm just going to skip it real quickly. Yeah. Oh, wait a second, what? We're actually getting an ending. Wait, what? Nani, nani? Why does it stop right there? Why? And why does it have, she have red hair? No. No. You know what? No. No, I refuse. I refuse. Negi, Negi san, please do not follow the rule that first girl is is best girl. It's not true. It doesn't work out like that. Look at Naruto. Naruto, I know it's not the best example, but Sakura san was first, was first girl, I believe. She wasn't the first girl picked. They picked the better one. Don't know if she was best girl in my opinion. It's hard to say. But it's, it's been a while since I've seen in Red and Naruto and all that jazz. Yeah, you know, it was good. But yeah. Don't. For the love of God. Unless you, un unless you write out a fantastic, like, side story. Or, or arc for her. Don't, don't pick Itsuki. No. I don't even care if you pick Miku. Just not Itsuki. Any of the four right now is better. Yotsuba just... She just needs love. Ichika, she crazy, but she's so hot. <laughs> um, Miku, she's sweet, she's great. Wish she did more than just like keep it to herself and not do anything. Kind of what she does. And Nino, she deserves the best because she's the best girl. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to hurry up and wrap this up. I'm probably going to go make dinner, then I'm probably going to go to bed. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Um, enjoy my reaction. And, yeah. I will see you guys Saturday for...
Cookie Summer Love is War. So I can laugh my tits off. But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.